Hello, everyone. Welcome to Finding Myself Through Obesity. We are on episode 10. Can you believe it? You've been here with me for 10 episodes. It is so exciting, and I am so grateful for all the things that I'm learning. And today, we are going to be talking about a subject that I love so much, and that is my connection to God and my soul. I've always been a spiritual being, I feel like. One thing that I noticed even as a teenager is I loved listening to spiritual music. I would go to the park or something and I would want to listen to that music and I loved how I felt close to God when I would listen to that. One of my biggest dreams is to write songs that help people feel close to God because music has been so important to me. Going through all of this trial, I've actually written some songs and I am excited to put music to it. One of the things that I noticed about my connection to God is I feel like I looked at God as a parent figure in the same way that I looked at my dad. I'm pretty sure that I put my dad as a higher priority than I put God. I definitely think that is something that I did was put my dad on that pedestal for being a godlike figure to me. When I went on my weight loss journey a couple years ago, I felt so connected to God. I remember kneeling and praying and being able to have this conversation with God. And I felt so connected. If you watch my old YouTube videos, you will see how connected I felt with God. After I had gained my weight back, then I, I started feeling very embarrassed. In fact, I wrote a song called Hiding From God, and I wanted to sing a little bit of it for you really quick. This is something I wrote during that time. I'm hiding from God, my soul undercover, darkness enfolds, once light now grows dimmer. Sit still, don't move. I'm hiding from you. So dark, it's true. I'm scared I will not make it through. Even though it's dark, I'm hiding from you. So that's just a little piece of that song that I wrote. And... It's interesting looking back at it because that was at a time when I was feeling like I wanted to hide from not only the people in my life, but also I wanted to hide from God. And I remember trying to kneel and pray and I would be in this stupor of thought. I couldn't even get my thoughts together when I would kneel down to pray. My mind would go blank and it was this interesting feeling. I would get up and not pray. And I stopped trying to pray. And I think this is a really interesting part because I've always felt like this spiritual being. I've always believed that we are here for a purpose. And I believe that God is guiding us. But I think that I felt like it was conditional in the way that I felt like my dad's love was conditional or my parents' love was conditional, even though it wasn't. I felt like I had to behave a certain way or do certain things in order to get that love and receive that love. But what I wanted to share with you today is that I know now that God's love for us is so unconditional. In my meditations, I can go up and imagine me being embraced by God. And it is one of the most amazing feelings of love that I've ever felt before. This lady, she had a near-death experience and she felt so much love when she died that when she came back, she wanted everybody to know how loved they are because she saw everybody suffering and feeling like they're not enough. And so she goes up to everybody and just tells them, I love you and you're so loved. And she feels like that's her mission and to let people know how loved they are. And I thought that was a beautiful moment to hear someone else have that same testifying experience, even though I'm having in my meditations, I feel like God is guiding me. So I feel like it is truth that his love is unconditional. So I have been raised in a religious home. 
I think there is a lot of misunderstanding about worthiness and God's love and what he expects of us. I think he is so loving and embracing, and he is like the father that's sitting in the stands at a ball game who is cheering us on because he sees the whole game. He sees the beginning. He sees the ending. And because he sees the whole game, he knows what's going to bring you true happiness. Do you think that we can accept God's love as great as we can accept our own love? Because when I was in that dark place, I wanted to hide from him because I was embarrassed of myself. So maybe our ability to feel God's love is equal to the ability that we can love ourselves. It's just something that I've been thinking about lately. I do feel like we were all divinely created. I believe that we each have something to bless the world with and that we're here for a purpose to find that about ourselves. What are those special gifts that God has given us? How can we develop them and how can we share them? So just like in the song where I was saying I, I'm hiding from God, all of these things that I am uncovering in this emotional weight series are things that I was trying to hide from myself also. And when I am aligning with truth and I'm just bringing awareness to what is real, then my spirit is free to come out and to be free. It is so important to me that I feel connected to God and all of these steps that, that I am taking are allowing me to have even more of a connection to God than I had before. And aligning body, mind, and spirit with truth has been the most amazing experience. And as I'm being able to look at myself, it has been so freeing and amazing. In conclusion, if I could leave anything that you would remember out of this episode, is that you know how loved you are. God's love is so encompassing. He wants us to value ourselves as his creations. So go out there and find out what your God-given gifts are and share them with the world and see where it takes you. And as I am saying this, I know that I need to continue singing because I know that I was given a gift from God to be able to sing. I love it when people ask me to sing in church, especially because I feel like that's where my voice has the most power, is when I am singing about God and testifying of God through, through song and through music. And speaking of singing, I wanted to share the song that I wrote. The Hiding from God is different than this one. This one's called Help Me Know Me. And again, I wrote this when I was in my dark place trying to figure out who I am. And I was so confused because I didn't know what was going on with me. And so I wanted to share this with you. When I look at my reflection, I don't see me anymore. Both my eyes are full of sadness, and my tears become the shore. I'm staring straight at nothing. I feel numbness to my core. Once a girl who felt connected, now she's tumbled to the floor. I'm taking a moment, looking deep in my soul, looking past all the darkness. How am I supposed to know? who I am anymore. Deeper and deeper I quiet my mind, closing my eyes so I breathe peace this time.
In my prayer I ask you, Father, wrap your arms around me more. Lift me up, show me my potential, help me lift myself and soar. Give me a simple glimpse when I see me through your eyes. Help me remember through all goodness you're disguised. I'm taking a moment looking deep in my soul, looking past all the darkness. How am I supposed to know? Who I am anymore? God help me know me. God help me be me. Thanks, you guys. See you next week.